Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Jake here. Again on the broadcast. Look at this, we're going to review a local beer from Nova Scotia. Guysboro County, Nova Scotia. It's by Rare Bird. It's from the Seacoast uh, Brewery. Seacoast Brewery, I think it's called. It's called a Full Stream Stout. 660 mil, 7% alcohol, strong beer. And on the back it says, uh... Here is a hearty brew built for the authentic seacoast. Take our nicely hot east coast stout with notes of licorice, chocolate, and roasted malt. Add our freshly roasted, certified organic, fair trade, full stream coffee to the brewing process and you have a richly flavored creamy coffee stout that pours black as starless night, as a starless night, capturing the unique seacoast spirit of the Maritimes. Ingredients are pure art artesian water, malted barley, hops, organic full stream coffee, yeast, and licorice root. Licorice root. Holy smokers, man! That sounds that sounds like a lovely beer. Oh, let's bust into this one. Is this a is this a chugger beer? Is this a chugger beer? No, should we chug this one? I'm not gonna smell from. Actually, you know what? You get different smells from the bottle than you do the uh, the glass. Let's pour a little bit in. See what we got. Let's just pour a little bit this time. You know, instead of a big amount, let's pour a little amount, a little little tiny amount, and we'll give it a swirl. Hold on a second, let's look at the color. The color is pretty dark. It's pretty dark. But I think you can still see through it. Yeah, you can see through it. So it's not a, it's not a real, it doesn't look like it's a real heavy stout. Hmm? It doesn't look like a real heavy one, real thick and nasty one. But it's fairly dark. It's, it's holding its cat nicely. The, um... Give it a swirl, give it a swirl, give it a swirl, get some of that aroma floating up to the top. It's not really, uh, it's not lacing well at all, but it's capping up nicely. Okay, time for the sniff. Oh my goodness, it's got a nice aroma. The first thing that hits me is coffee. Coffee. Oh, it's got a very nice coffee aroma, very nice. And to be honest with you, I can't pick up anything else beyond that. Um, as far as the aroma cons is concerned, the coffee is the biggest one. Okay, let's go for the taste. Wow! Nice! Nice! Be honest, I gotta be honest. It's subtle. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is that it's... It's rather subtle. It's not... Um, it doesn't have any overpowering flavors. Like, there's nothing that comes out and says... Bam! Like it hits hit you real hard or anything. It's 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 on the lighter side of a stout. It's on the lighter side. It's not a heavy, thick stout. Not like the Russian Imperial Stout by Propeller. It's a lot lighter than that. Oh, oh! I got licorice in my burp. I got licorice in the burp. Black licorice. There it comes. There comes the black licorice right out in the burp. Wow. That's a pretty good stout. Um, it's got a slight dryness to it. 
It does have the, you know, the typical, uh, most, mostly coffee. The coffee is the prominent flavor, but it does have the slight chocolate caramel, slight licorice, very slight. I mean, all that's in there. But uh, as far as my taste buds are, are, are concerned, and as far as my palate is concerned, they seem to have done a pretty good job on balancing this one so that it's not too, too thick and heavy, but also not too light and thin. You know what I mean? It's sort of in between. And it's uh, it has some session ability to it. Like it's not, it doesn't taste like something that's going to fill me up after drinking the bottles. Like, oh, oh stuff that can't, you know, I can't even drink or eat anymore. You know what? And it does have a, a little bit of bitterness to it from the hops, but I like it because Jake here, Jake here does not really like a strong bitter when it comes to drinking a stout. I'd rather a very light bitter or if, or if anything, no bitter at all. So this has a very light bitter. I know that the, the Russian Imperial Stout from Propeller has a strong bitter. They get a very strong bitter. And also, the stout, uh, the oatmeal stout from Saint Ambroise in Montreal, Canada, they have a rather strong bitter too, which I'm not too keen on. This is nice. This is pretty decent. I like it. I like it. It's got a, it's got a wonderful coffee flavor. We can pour it, we can fill this baby up this time, look. 7% ABV, so it's a bit of a strong stout. It looks nice. Looks very nice. And if there's nothing else to say about this one, Jake, then I think you should give it a rating. Sure, why not? Let's go with a generous 4.25 out of 5. <laughs> I thought about a 4, but then I said, no, this is a, actually one of the better stouts I've had. So I go 4.25 out of 5. It's a very good stout. I would recommend it. Cheers, 17. Keep your mugs full. Thanks for joining, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Take care.